and if you obey the voice of God, if you obey His commandment, and that relationship will become a blessing. And uh, if you disobey the God's will in any relationship, that becomes a bondage. And in these kind of ties between two souls, like uh, first today we learned about spirit, soul, and body. So when the soul of one person is connected to the soul of another person, that is called a soul tie. And you know, uh, you will not see that the connection, but you can feel it in, inside you. You can feel it in every decision that you make, every choices you make, you can feel the effect of that soul tie. And if that tie is between two people, are according to the will of God, it is a blessing. And if it is not according to the will of God, it is a bondage. And the soul tie is a tie to someone which we can't see with our physical eyes. It is in the spirit realm. We cannot see that term, that what is connecting between me and another person with our physical eyes. But we can feel it, feel its effect, and it has an effect on our life. And uh, even our decisions, directions, everything is affected by that time. It is an unseen spiritual bond. You understand? Some things you know, I'll teach you further. It is a rope, it is an unseen rope. It's like a string that connects two people. That person can be anywhere in the world. If they have a connection in their souls, they are like connected with one another, with an unseen rope. And this rope can be godly or ungodly, depending upon the will of God and the disobedience of God's will. And these guys can be governed by the Holy Spirit and also by the demonic spirits. Like uh, one illustration what I want to give you is, soul ties, have you seen the two bullets, the oxen are in the field when they want to uh, plow the field. They put two oxen and there is a yoke placed on the connecting the two oxen. Have you seen that in the field when they plow the land? Yes. But these oxen, they know that they are connected with something, but they have not seen the yoke. They know they are together, they are connected with one another, but they cannot see the yoke, what is placed on top of them. And soul ties are like that. It is like, you know, you cannot see, but you feel it, uh, its effect in our life. You may not be able to see what is that is connected between me and the other person, but we will feel the effect in our lives. And uh, when we have bonds like this, it does it has have a parallel effect in the heavenly area. Like when Jesus says in Matthew 18, 20, when two or three are gathered in my name, I am in their midst. We know that Jesus is there, but we don't see Jesus. Right? And this time, which we cannot see with our physical eyes, between two individuals is called the soul type. And these soul ties connect the two persons so strongly when they are when the two people have the soul ties, their bond is so strong. For example, in the Bible, in 1 Samuel 18:1, the soul of Jonathan is was linked to the soul of David, and Jonathan loved him as his own soul. That is a biblical reference they have given. We all have read it. the soul of Jonathan is was linked to the soul of David and Jonathan loved him as his own soul. See, as I'm teaching, you will come to understand that what is his soul type. It is a relationship. In any relationship, uh, we learned that day about the uh, spirit, soul and body. And the soul has got the thoughts, the mind, the mind, the emotions and the will. Mind can be the thoughts that is in the, comes in the mind. 
So when when two people are having soul ties, their their, their thoughts, emotions are filled are joined together. You understand that? See, we are a spirit being, and when we have any relationship with anyone, our spirit is involved in that relationship. And in that relationship, our spirit, soul, and body both are united. So it is very important to have godly relationship. And most of our relationship are good relationship, but some we have also bad relationship, which is not from God. And uh, when we have a godly relationship with people, blessings will follow. And uh, and when we have, when we have, uh, and when there is an ungodly relationship, there is a bondage. And if today, as we are going through God's word, God will reveal to you what are the ungodly bondage or ungodly soul ties that you have with anyone, and we can give lift up that uh, that soul tie to Jesus and ask Him to heal us and deliver us from that bondage. So there is nothing to worry. See, as I'm teaching, you might come across, uh, maybe I have done this thing wrong, maybe that guy is not good, my relationship with that person is not good, but there is nothing to worry. Because we have Jesus, and if He will deliver us from every bondage. There is an ungodly 